Hi, I'm Liz Cortez with Business Trends TV, and today I am interviewing Ryan Sanofson from Accelerate Marketing. Hey, Ryan. How you doing, Liz? I'm doing excellent. Thanks for being on today. And what we're talking about today is the top online reputation management tech. How should companies, you know, consider expanding or handling crisis communication, and you know, how can they protect themselves? Really do build up a big reputation before crisis happens. What's your advice in that area? Well, the best thing to do is, as they mentioned in this in this article, is planning. You just you want to have as as good of a plan as you possibly can to make sure that you're, as they suggest, that you're leveraging those platforms that are out there and available for you to to, to get your positive information out there, your positive reviews. So you want to make sure that just like we have in our company, we have one person that is responsible for responding to any positive or negative reviews. And you want to make sure that you have that monitoring in place so that A, you know when it happens, so you have the awareness part, and then you take you have somebody that takes action. And you want to take action, I think as, as it points out here, if I remember the article I, I, from earlier, is that you want to take action sooner than later. You want to make sure that you respond to that negative review as quickly as possible. You want to contact that person because really what we're talking about here is an opportunity. You have an opportunity for the first time as a business owner to directly communicate with the people that want to share with you ideas and, and challenges that you're having with your, your business. As a business owner, I can't think of anything better. If, I not, if I'm unaware of what our challenges are, then I can't do anything about them. So what I look at these review pages as, or these directories as, is really an opportunity for me to gain insight into my business and then create a private one-on-one -on -one communication offline with that person and in order to in order to remedy the problem and then invite them back show them that we've actually remedied the problem and then hopefully have them either remove the review or at least upgrade the review based on the new information that we've given them so to answer your question i would have one person responsible for communicating with the with the person or the people that that possibly might you know have, leave bad information about your business online and then make sure that they follow up with them offline in a, in a PM or a private message on Yelp or Google or whatever and, and really deal with them one-on-one -on -one and let them know that, that you care and obviously respond to the review. I would first not respond publicly to the review. If it was negative, I would first reach out to the person and try to re remedy it offline and then if there's no remedy to it and you're not able to remove it, just obviously respond don't incite the person. You know, you don't want to incite them. You just want to make sure that they feel heard, communicate, and then let other people know that are reading the review know that you've that you've taken care of the issue. Yeah, I like how you bring up the point of you know um, when you're responding publicly that you know you don't want to get them more upset or just you want to you know take responsibility and you know think about you're writing that review. Or the person that's reading it, the person that's looking at hiring your company, you know, buying services or products from you, and you know, making sure to handle that. Um, also, you know, handling it personally first, and having someone yes. just be on top of that. I am sure that makes a big difference. And I'm sure who would not love to have either the owner of the company or you know, some exec give you a call and try to work something out. I mean, wow, that's one way to definitely get get your voice heard when you're working with company. So. Yeah. Thanks, Ryan. Uh, thank you so much, Ryan, for doing this interview with us today and going over this great Forbes article um, that is just top in the search engines for reputation management and marketing. Any last words? No, that's it. Thanks, Liz, for the for the opportunity to talk with you about this article, and I look forward I look forward to doing this on a regular basis. So, if you're watching this video, come join us on Thursdays at four o'clock Pacific Standard Time. In order to uh, in order to continue to gain new and, and more insight into you know how you can build your reputation online and, and go by and and visit us at our website at accelerateyourmarketing.com. That's and, and on, on my 
you can see at the bottom here it says Accelerate Marketing. So it's just AccelerateYourMarketing.com is our website. And uh, we'd be more than happy to talk to you and, and let you know, you know what we can do to, to move you in the right direction. Excellent. I'll put that link below this video so you can just go ahead and click that link. And yes, yeah, stay tuned for next week. Ryan and I will be doing another segment at 4 o'clock Pacific Standard Time on Thursdays. So thank you. See you on the next video. All right. All right. Thanks a lot, Liz. Ha, 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 ha.